After drawing our first Champions League game of the season, it is time to get our first win. We're up against Lokomotiv Moscow. They lost their first game against Celta Vigo. I think they're probably favourites to be bottom of the group. And I think it's fair to say we are favourites to still top the group. We have got quite a favourable draw, haven't we? We've had some good teams put in there that we shouldn't struggle too much up against. But uh, you never know, especially if you use the second team. Things can happen. We're going to get straight into today's match. Just quickly, let's check to see who else we have. So we've got Stoke. They've come back up into the Premier League. Not sure about that. I'm not the biggest fan of the old Stoke, you know, the way they play. Similar to what Burnley do now, they just lump it forward. It's just not very exciting, is it? And then we have Burnley away. Then we've got the game against Celta Vigo. And then we finish off October with a huge one against our main rivals in the series right now, Manchester United. They ruined my season last year. Smith Rowe is going to be captain. And look at this. I'm starting Palmer on that right side as United you know, decided to keep him. He kind of fills up the reserves a little bit. We needed another attacking threat. So he's going to start out on that right wing. Why not? And Ramsey comes in as well. I should probably make him captain, shouldn't I? It's got to be Captain Rambo. I'm so excited that we got him back. He's already gone down to 78 rated. He's, uh, he's starting to lose a few stats, but... You guys know I signed him just because I really wanted him to come back. And it's it's cool to get those kind of players back into the squad. So that's what we're going to do with Tammy up top. Nelson on the left side. Tavares and Tommy Yasu. He's keeping his position. Saliba and Salisu, the Sally brothers. And then, of course, Aaron Ramsdale will be starting in goal. We've got two Aaron Rams. <laughs> Aaron Ramsdale and Aaron Ramsey starting today. Wait, hang on. It's bugged out. Look who's at right back. Ainsley Maitland-Niles. What? You guys saw it. I literally had Tomoyasu at right back. What is going on? That makes no sense whatsoever. I don't, I don't get it. I can't get the ball either. This has not been a good start. There we go, McKenney. And there's Erdegaard. What? What? What is going on there? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so confused. What, what has happened there? I don't know. I'm swapping these guys around them. It makes sense to have Erdegaard in the middle with Nelson on the right and Smith Rowe on the left. But that, I... <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I was backing out of the menu and I pressed circle. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going on, guys. Clearly, I've discovered another bug. This isn't the first time this has happened where I've changed my team going into the game and then it just doesn't do it. <laughs> I think it might be something to do with having a player that's unavailable. So right now, Sterling's injured. I took him out of the team, yet it still came up with a message. You've got a player in your squad that's unavailable, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that's what it is. It's, it's very strange. Very strange. Ramsey hasn't been put on either. Let's put that over the top for Tammy. Go on, Tammy. Actually, I'm going to give it to Erdegaard. Finish it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, the first 15 minutes have been interesting. What a pass. Go on, Nelson. In for Smith Rowe. No, I put it too far forward. That's the quality difference. You know if that's Saka, he gets the cross in, even with his weak foot. But Nelson, 78 rated. Just lacking that little bit of quality. That's frustrating. Should be 2-0, really, shouldn't it? Obviously, I'm not bothered that certain players have started because it's okay. It's, it's not like I'm at a massive disadvantage here. All of my players are capable, but it's just weird. It just doesn't make any sense. And I don't understand how the game can be still having issues like this in December. The game's been out for months now. Surely someone else has had this issue. Please let me know in the comments. Have you had this problem before where you set up your team and then when you get in the game, it's not what you set up? <laughs> I've just lost the ball again. I mean, we're going into the break at nil-nil, but I should be winning this comfortably at this point. Don't let them score before the break, though. Let's just take the nil-nil. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on. There's no injury time. What's going on here? Just blow the whistle now. We'll get into the second half. This isn't the team I wanted, obviously, but... I've been playing well. I, I, I don't think we're going to lose this game. It's just a case of actually scoring. That would help. 
Go on, Maitland Niles. In for Tammy. Nice. Just hits it across the keeper. Oh my god. Yeah, across the keeper, but in the goal. <laughs> okay. That's another chance which we should really be putting away. I make that 3 0. Should be 3 0. Is that not a foul? What? Okay. Bit of luck there. Need Sambi to continue the run. Play it inside. Here's Erdegaard. Oh, what a save. Oh, no. Oh, Ramsdale. That's the first real attempt they've had in this second half, and it almost resulted in a goal. I should probably make some changes myself, actually. Should we have a look and see who could come on and help? We've got Ennisiri. I think I might bring him on, actually. Ennisiri for Tammy. Let's go with Partey instead of Sambi, and let's go with Saka instead of Nelson. I don't know. Nelson's fine. He, he, he does a job, but he's just... You know, you saw it in that first half of the cross. It, it is, honestly, that is a big, big problem. You need that final bit of quality in games like this where you're struggling to actually score. Just need that extra little bit, don't you? Oh, wow. We just got so lucky. Now end the series over the top. <laughs> I am so lucky. I've got to score this, though. Oh, what a ball. Smith throw. No, the keeper. Oh, my God. What is going on? What is happening here? <laughs> Corner coming in. Saliba's there. Oh, wow. Where are you aiming that, mate? Out the stadium. Eight minutes to go. We could be losing this now. What a strike that was. I don't know who it was, but it came off the bar. Probably deserved to go in. Really? I've given it away. Okay, Tavares won it back. That was close. This will be my last chance, I think. And I've done that. What is that? Trying to pass it over to Saka, and it's gone straight to one of their defenders. Unreal. I don't deserve to win this game. I thought I did. I had many chances, but in this second half, could have lost it there. I have been all over the place. So we take another draw in the Champions League. This is not good, guys. This is not good. I could potentially be facing teams like Bayern, Real Madrid, PSG in the coming rounds. No chance against them. Wait, now I've got a message from Sterling complaining about not playing. What? Wait, no, hang on. Just want to say I'm prepared to turn out in any position. What are you talking about, Raheem? <laughs> I've had to move things around a bit. Basically, I've had to take you out of the team because you're injured. He's still injured. Honestly, look. What can, <laughs> what can I do? This game is unreal at times, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to move on into the next one. It is time for Stoke. We've had a poor start in the league. Eighth at the moment. Now down to 10th after the latest results. Six games, 10 points. We need to make that 13 and get a win here. I really wanted to start Ramsey in the last game, so we're going to start him against Stoke. Yes, I know Arsenal fans. You know what I'm thinking. Um, we are going to go ahead and see if the bug happens again. I've got Sterling on the reserves. I'm going to uh, on the bench. Sorry, I'm going to put him in the reserves and let's see what happens. He's out of the squad. It should not affect this game whatsoever. Ramsey's in there, and I'm going to back out. Press play. There is an unavailable player. On your bench. Okay, so automatically replace. Let's see what happens. Because it, th that makes no sense. Everyone else was fit and ready to go for this game. Let's see what happens to the squad. Is Ramsey in the team? And he's not. Partey's in there. Makes complete sense. It honestly does. Maybe Ramsey hasn't been registered. <laughs> I mean, okay game, sure. The thing is, I kind of knew this would happen, and I knew it would put Partey in. And he's who I actually should be starting in most games, let's be honest. He's the better player. But that's a bug. Sterling is injured, so I take him off, but he's still somehow affecting my squad. Great game, EA. Great game. And we're 1-0 down. Oh, man. It's only Monday, and I'm already stressing. <laughs> This game, honestly, it's a great strike. It really is. It's just typical timing. 
first shot of the game. It goes flying in. And we're already 1-0 down. Surridge is a good striker, by the way. Very decent. He'll get a couple of goals for for um, for Stoke in tough games. They'll he, He'll win them some points. Simple as that. Instant reply. Watch this, guys. This is going to be a beautiful goal. Thomas Partey through for Endesiri. No, nope, he's been blocked off. Oh, it was close, wasn't it? It's was a lovely pass from Partey. And then that was brilliantly won by Sanchez. Here we go. End of series. On his left foot. <laughs> Why am I shooting from there? It's never going to happen. That's more like it. End of series is in properly. Martinelli's back post. Can I pick him out? No, nope, that's a terrible cross. Honestly, I wanted to cut in and shoot. I just don't think I had the angle there. That is absolutely disgusting from Powell. Not even a card. Really? It's completely taking him out. Here's Ben White into Erdegaard. Through for Endesiri. Oh, again. The pass so close to getting through. That goal is coming. But we could also concede again. If they shoot from here, it'll go in. <laughs> That's what it feels like at times. Here is Smith. Cuts backwards. Right, okay. We've won it. Let's go. Martinelli. Give that over here to Partey. Great first touch. He's still going. Over on the left wing. And it's a... Oh, it's doing my head in. I need to see the replay of this one. I feel like I did a pretty accurate pass there. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, look at that. Who would have thought I actually put the pass where I wanted it? But the game's like, no. The defender gets it. Oh, man. Okay, positivity. Positivity. I can't be like this in, in Monday's episode. It's too early in the week to be this frustrated with the game. I need the ball, please. Sir, can I have the ball? It is going to be half time and I'm not going to get another opportunity. They might. Oh, I'm just playing so badly. I really am. I have to turn this around in the second half. If I lose this game, I'm genuinely concerned. I, I really am. If I lose this game, we are going to fall so far back. I'm going back to the 4-3-3 that I used for so long. Why not? I'm going to have... Do I have Sanchez or Partey as the DM? I think, you know, it's different to the Neves Partey kind of pivot. I think Partey probably is better through the middle with Sanchez on the right. Or do I go Erdegaard on the right for the diagonal? Yeah, okay. That's what we do. Sanchez on the left, Erdegaard on the right. We can ping balls over the top in for Martinelli that curve kind of inwards. It'll be beautiful. All right, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. It probably won't happen, but I'm going to try my best, all right? 4-3-3. Three, three. Haven't used this formation in a little while. Tell you what. Space is opening up. Sanchez. Well, there was space. Oh, my God. We got lucky. Oh, we got so lucky. Get in there. <laughs> That's what we needed. Sometimes you need just a little bit of luck. And it's just fallen for Martinelli. Slams it home with his left foot. I almost put him up front and put Smith Rowe on the wing. But I thought, no, no, no. End of series hasn't been the problem. Just change the system. And so far... You could say it's worked. It does open up space behind the striker because there's no number 10. You're, you're playing with three number eights or two number eights and a number six. You know, it, it really frees up just a bit of gap, a bit of space. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're not going to talk about it. Nothing happened. No one even saw that. I don't need to put it in the video, you know. Oh, look, we're magically on the break and we're going to score. Saka, I see you. Almost got it to him. Okay, this game is mental. It is actually mental. I've just come up with the perfect excuse if I lose, which I almost am. Almost am losing. My perfect excuse is they're wearing green and I can't see them. That's what it is. They're blending into the pitch. That's the problem, guys. 100%. Oh, my God. They look dangerous. Every time they come forward at the moment, they look really dangerous. I'm going to make some changes now because it is 65 minutes in or whatever. I'm going to go McKenney instead of Sanchez. I'm going to go Maitland-Niles instead of Tommy Yasu just to go down that right side. See, this is where having Sterling would be incredible. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take off Partey and we will have McKenney in the middle and Sanchez on the left. I'm going to leave the front three as it is. We've still got a spare sub should we need it. The players come on straight away because the ball was out. And now we just defend the corner, which Ainsley Maitland-Niles will do. Oh my God, it almost fell for Saka perfectly. Can you imagine if I got in behind because of that? 
Oh, that would have been glorious. How about that for a pass? Go on, Tierney. That's yours all day. He's got it. Whip it into the box now. Oh, couldn't quite get on end of series head there. Here's Erdegaard to Sanchez again. I'm going to play this backwards. Just hit it. Go on. Oh, it's deflected. It's going to be a corner for us now. I think they had three corners in a row. About the time that we got one. Erdegaard, ball in for Martinelli. I'm surprised he even won that header, let alone get it on target. Fair play to him. Oh, we'll take it back. Thank you very much. Erdegaard into Enesiri. Back to Erdegaard. Almost poked it through. Onside. He's on. Please finish this. No, he's off. Oh, Tammy Abraham's coming on. Is he the answer? Probably not, but I'm going to give it a go. Fresh legs up top. It might work out. Please win that header. Yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, the pass was terrible. We've kept it in. Sanchez, this is yours. Through for Tammy. Oh, oh, good tackle from the defender. Not long left now, guys. A draw simply isn't good enough. This isn't good enough from me, let alone the results itself. I'm not playing very well at all, but when do I ever? <laughs> That's what it feels like at the moment in this game. Just so inconsistent. But here we go. Last minute winner. Oh, what a ball. Saka, you've got to. You've got to. <sighs> Maybe I should have passed it into the box. Maybe I should have sweated it. I took too much time. It's all right. They can win it now. <laughs> right. One last attempt. Here we go. To win the game against 19th place Stoke. The biggest moment of our season so far. <laughs> I don't think so. Here's Saka. I kind of want that free kick, but I'm not going to take it. Into Erdegaard. No. Nope. Oh, my God. Oh, McKinney. It's okay. Keep the ball alive. Let's go. Go on. Go on. Please. Let me shoot. Oh, what a save. We've played five minutes here. This is it. I, I have to. Aim for Tammy. Come on. Please, Tammy. Please. Please. No. Stop it. Stop saving it. Right, we go again. Tammy, this is all you. No, it's gone to Ben White instead. I didn't aim it there. Oh, we've drawn against Stoke. Oh, my God. Eight shots on target. Oh, <laughs> just can't score, can I? I think um, Tierney's 90 rated now. Oh, my God. That is mental, isn't it? Absolutely mental. What a player. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how good your players are if you yourself aren't a good player. Um, we've had an international break, I think, and now Sterling is back. So that is good news. Yeah, there you go. So we had a few players out on international duty. So now that Sterling's back, what do you reckon? Is it still going to be buggy? I think that's the root of the problem. I think it's when you've got an injured player. But uh, he will start this game against Burnley. This has turned into an absolute must win. Genuinely, it just, it just has, hasn't it? I'm going to take out Erdegaard. He's just not having a good time at the moment. Give Smith throw a go. Sterling in for Enesiri and then put Martinelli up front. We're, we're, we're switching this up. I quite enjoyed the 4-3-3 again, but come on. This, this formation has been doing well for a while now, a good season and a bit. So we'll stick with it. I quite enjoyed Maitland-Niles as well. So let's put him in. And yeah, that's the team. Let's go with that. Can it get much worse than playing Stoke followed by Burnley? <laughs> Talk about anti-football. Look, I'm sorry if you're a fan of those teams, but no, 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 no. Coming from an Arsenal fan, growing up watching Wenger Ball, it's just there's there's levels to playing the beautiful game. It, necess it wasn't necessarily always successful playing that way, but it's beautiful to watch, and that's what football's all about for me. Oh, my God. What a save, Martinez. It's about playing well but winning, obviously. But um, yeah, Stoke and, and Burnley, not known for the, the tiki-taka possession football. That, that's for sure. Here's Smith Rowe, plays it out for Sterling. He's going to keep that in, I think. And he's got a perfect pass up to Martinelli, who's chested it down. Can he finish it? He can. My God, we're winning a football game. Okay, don't want to celebrate that. Let's just get going again. I need two or three, it feels like, to win a game at the moment. Here we go again. On the left side for Sterling. Saka's making a run on the right side. I'm going to pick him out. What a ball. What a pass that was. Oh, and Pope. I'm surprised I scored against him, actually. It's Pope. He's an absolute beast. 
Sterling's made a huge difference, though. And Martinelli up front, it is just different. You know, it opens up a lot more of FIFA gameplay. You know, you need to be quick. I'm going to have a shot here. Oh, my God. Oh, Gabriel. Where did that come from? It almost went in. Ooh. Okay, no card, but that was a nasty challenge. That's basically what the CPU do. I'm just learning off them. Just sliding in when there's absolutely no chance of getting the ball. That's what the AI have been doing to me a while now, since the latest patch. More aggressive, more like just stupid. Making stupid tackles that were never going to work. Here's Sterling. Him and Martinelli, honestly, they're running this game. What do we do now? Pass it inside, maybe? Oh, that's going to be a goal kick as well. Honestly, though, it's so much better. I think maybe this is what I should be doing. Martinelli up front with Sterling on the left. It, it, it does seem to be working. But then I miss Enesiri. I do. He's just got such a great left foot. I love those volleys that I've been scoring with him. And yeah, he's a great player. It's just maybe he starts on the bench. Kind of sucks, but I think that's where I'm at at the moment. We are into the second half here. Wasn't the most exciting first half ever, but we're winning the game. That's all that matters. Well done, Sanchez. See, look, where's Martinelli? Go. Make the run. Pop it over the top. Go on. Oh, it was close. We should win that header. Here's Saka into Smith Rowe. Oh, over to Sterling now. And that is a great tackle from Roberts. Well, good start, really. Getting the ball straight away from kickoff. Getting on the attack. It's promising stuff, guys. That's a goal. Oh, Martinez again. He's unbelievable at times, keeping me in these games. It's a great save. And now we get the opportunity to go forward with Tierney. Try and give it to Sterling. Oh, that was dodgy. Inside to Smith Rowe now. Through for Martinelli, maybe? Nope. Straight to the defender there. I actually tried to pass it around the other side. I'm not going to lie to you. It just didn't do it. <laughs> it just doesn't sometimes, does it? And now I'm going to get hit on the break. Here's Vallejo. Well done, Maitland-Niles. He's having a good few games, to be fair to him. I love Tommy Yasu, but Maitland-Niles is just a very... He's the opposite, isn't he? Short, quick... Tomiyasu is tall, physical, you know. They, they both have great uh, aspects to their game. I like them both, but uh, Tommy is still my favourite. He's, he's the legend, isn't he? <laughs> he is Smith Rowe. Lost it. Was just about to pass it. No! Nice. Come on, Saka. I'm going to give it back. Beautiful. Do I shoot? Yes, I do. Bang! Blocked. What a surprise. Win the header. Can't win the header because Pope's got... Eight for arms. <laughs> so long. I've never seen such gangly arms. It's crazy. Here is Sanchez over to Saka. We've won it back again. It's good. Into Martinelli now. He's got there. Cross coming in for Sanchez and it's Pope again. I should probably make some changes, but I just don't want to. I feel like we're, we're winning the game and we look dangerous every time we attack. I don't need to change anything right now. But I probably will bring on maybe one sub soon. Let's do one last attack here. Lovely touch from Smith Rowe. And then it's another terrible touch that follows it. Let's um, let's bring on... Do I do it? Yeah. Erdegaard and end the series is what I'm going to do. Ooh. Okay. Martinelli on the left. Sterling's going to come off. He's only just come back from injury. So end the series going to come on. And we've got about 15 minutes left. Do you think you're Thierry Henry or something? What are you doing? That's not good. This isn't good at all. Oh, Martinez, I love you. Finally, we can get our subs on as well. It's taken 10 minutes. The ball just hasn't gone out. Corner coming in. That should be mine. Well done, Ben. Right, Tierney, you're just going to have to run. No other options at this point. Let's just go, go, go. Right, Sack has made himself open. That's a nice pass. I'm surprised it hasn't curved out. Okay, and now look at back post. Oh, what a ball. Martinelli! Oh, he puts it wide. Yeah, I feel you. Away fans not looking too pleased, but it's still going to be a win. It's just disappointing, really, isn't it? Just a 1-0. Just going to hold on for this. Unless we can get one last attack here. Oh, my. Play on. He's fine. Play on. We've still got it. Over the top for end of series. What a ball. Can he reach it? No. Well, he can, yes, but no, he can't score. But it doesn't matter. We got a win. That's 
how you end an episode of disappointing results with a win, a hard-fought win against one of the best teams in Europe. <laughs> oh, and Aston Villa beat Man United. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's really nice to see. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next one, Celta Vigo, currently doing better than us in the Champions League group stage, so we need to win that. And then it's Man United who just lost. So... Who knows? Maybe I'll do a little bit better in tomorrow's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.